We are going to have a 30 second flash round for this question only and it is about recess, structured recess. It will begin with Crystal. We have the uh, structured recess state guru and uh, renowned uh, advocate of the idea. Steve Gall over here. So I will uh, ask this question just as it asks. Do you think teachers in K through six should take the kids out for daily physical activity breaks? Crystal, 30 I think, seconds, I right? I think we need uh, physical education courses. I, I think that's, that's critically important. And I also know that children need time off away from teachers as well, because that, that time away, the time to get away from our instruction for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, betters their performance in the class. So most importantly, I mean, if that's the best we can do, that's what we gotta do. However, why aren't we bringing back physical education? That, that is critically way more important. Physical education is important for kids. They need a source outside to release energy, uh, especially when it's all in the classroom. They have all that energy, and the only way to release it is to do some activities outside, whether it's a little basketball, a little kickball, or running around. I think it's very important for the well-being of our students. I'm going to rely on the expert in my family. Uh, last year, my daughter taught third grade. Yes, uh, this year, she's teaching six, and she tells me that it's these kids in that age absolutely need it. It would make the classrooms a lot easier to manage. The children would get some real exercise, uh, get their yayas out, and come back ready to sit down and pay attention. So, uh, my daughter says it's a good idea. I say it's a good idea. I was the one who sponsored our new policy on structured recess, working with uh, Mr. Dahl. I think it's great. We originally wanted to have more minutes in that policy than we have now, um, but we dropped that to get consensus, and I hope we can get those minutes back up. On one hand, we're talking about uh, extending instructional time, and I think some teachers would argue that this is good. Uh, we all remember, uh, we all have gym stories. I think it's, it's imperative that we don't take that away from this generation and future, generation, future generations of students. But I think on the backs of some of the teachers that are already challenged, uh, not only teaching to the test, but trying to deal with curriculum, I think I support it because again, it's the only option we have, but we need to bring back PE. I think it's, it's imperative. I was in the I was in the board meeting when they when they um, passed this measure, and it was very interesting to hear somebody, a teacher who works with the ELL program, talking about having to pull her students out of um, instructional time in order to teach them English, and then having to give them extra time for PE, which left them with very little content time. That was one story out of about 50. The other 49 were in support of the program, and I am too. As someone who has struggled with weight all my life, I believe that it is a priority and I think that our students should have physical activities outside and making sure that they get their blood running and everything. I, I strongly believe that. I supported the um, proposal by Dr. Segman and um, Mr. Gall and I believe that it is a priority for this district. <laughs> 